So I'm kind of trying to find like a quiet street, but then I realized there are no quiet streets to actually vlog in. I have a trip coming up this weekend and I need to pack for that and hopefully the last of my uh, couriers are here and I can actually now do the packing that I need to do. You might be wondering that, hey, what's with you waiting for couriers three days before your trip? What's so special about it? But I'll tell you, it's, 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 you know, it's this thing that I have called crazy ideas and I'll show, talk to you about it in a minute. And uh, when I get this crazy idea, I actually have to go ahead and execute it. I, right there and then, like legit execute my crazy idea. I'm trying to desperately navigate through this footpath. It's like an obstacle course. Yeah, you got bikes over here too. Okay, so this is a fairly quiet road to walk on. So, crazy ideas. See, I have this system where I pack my clothes in my uh, check-in package exactly the way I want it. You know, essentials on one side, shoes on one side, denims on one side, t-shirts folded in a way. But then I got this crazy idea that everybody seems to be talking about packing tubes. And so I ordered See what I have to deal with? So I got this crazy idea that everybody seems to be into these packing cubes and so I ordered a whole bunch of packing cubes in various sizes. And so now I'm executing that idea. See, that's the thing about ideas, right? Every time you have a crazy idea, no matter how stupid this is, there's a thought that goes in your head that says, oh, this is stupid, don't do it. Do it. There's a 50% chance that it's a stupid idea, but then there's a 50% chance that it's a good idea and it saves you in the future. But if you don't do it, like this was a crazy idea of vlogging in the middle of traffic, but if you don't do it, there's a 100% chance that you've already lost. I have freaking power fire sticking to my shoes. This is worse than an obstacle course. There's nothing stupid about an idea. You might fail. That's okay. There's some money spent. But if, if you succeed, you have a system now. Just like I'm going to go and figure out if there's a system in place for me to use travel cubes. Um, don't hold yourself back. If you think that something is worth doing it, do it. That's super safe. Okay, so back home. And uh, essentially, this is what I'm talking about. And uh, right now, everything is sort of like not packed because in the middle of packing things, they got that idea about like to using packing. Oh, I picked up these travel organizers. Uh, the part of Amazon Basics, I'll link them down below. So I'm going to take everything off the bag neatly organize it, everything out in separate bags, put them in the organizer and see if that's more convenient. Also some of you actually asked me still pretty strong it, it hasn't collapsed as yet. Okay, that completes the packing. Travel organizer is good idea, worked out perfectly. All of that clutter is now gone into three cubes. Might be another cube over there. I've got one. Let's see if I can bump the ISO up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's it. All right. That's denims and sweatshirts and uh, shorts. I've got this medium-sized one with with the t-shirts. And then one small one for travel essentials. And those, let's say we do one handed packing. Those essentially get packed as that. They might not look like a big difference, but it's, it's convenient. If I want to pick up a denim, just one cube. I don't have to rip apart all the t shirts and the ironing and the shirts and everything gets have to refold stuff. I might split the t shirts into two. You know, you can mix and match. 
get crazy about it. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what exactly has been your experience with travel organizers, lifesavers. Say 50% chance. There's no such thing as stupid ideas. Crazy ideas always work out. Hit the like button, subscribe. Click on that notification bell. You'll get notified next time I upload the video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. I know my last few videos I haven't done my traditional coffee. It's not gone. It's just not. Uh, we'll be back soon. Bye now.